Hey guys, you know what source control, GitHub, Bitbucket? If you don't, don't worry. I'm here to teach you. Well, source control is a file system that helps you to find your code in any point in time. You can make change to your code and commit to source control. And then you can go back when you need it and find that code on that point in time, whatever you need. And it's very good to work in group of people as well. So you can have different branches and people can make chains um, and run in parallel. And then when they finish, they can merge again together and have one branch going on. Um, when you have a new release of your code, for example, you can have a different branch for a version one, and then you keep developing and you have a different uh, branch for your version two and so on. So it's very useful, it's a very useful tool. Uh, what is the GitHub? Um, it's nothing more than a source control in the clouds. And what that makes so special, well, if you have a problem with your hard drive before or your laptop stolen, you know what I'm talking about. So why not just sync your source with the cloud? So you know you have always a backup if something goes wrong. And furthermore, you can always share your code with someone else. If you want somebody to help with your code, to review your code, or I don't know, it's up to you. The possibilities are endless. Um, and GitHub, what is that? That's another platform that let, allows you to put your code there as well. And it's also free. And the difference is GitHub is free for open source. If you want to put your source there, but everybody can see and share with everyone, you can put in GitHub for free. In Bitbucket, you're going to have your code free and secure. Up to seven people can share the same bucket and develop in the same bucket for free. So I'll be going to show you over the next few days how to use this service and how to, even better, put them to work together with Xcode so you can do everything. You can commit your code and push to the cloud and pull back to your computer. All this without get out of your Xcode. That's amazing, isn't it? So stick around and let's go and have a look at.